Um, so uh, the next one we've got to talk about is um, the grab bag of useful things. So app iteration, HTTP requests, JSON libraries. It's basically just a grab bag of like useful stuff that you might be like, oh, I need to make a HTTP call, or I need to pass some JSON, um, or I need to do act iteration. Um, so I thought I would run through those really quickly. Um, where I had a note on my phone as to where I had a good example of this sort of thing. By the way, if you've got any questions, uh, in now's a good time to put them in the chat. Orchestrator. Okie dokie. Cool. So let's say we're going to make this uh, HD, uh, this blueprint node actually do a HTTP call because uh, that will make things a bit interesting. If we want to use the HTTP libraries, um, we're going to need uh, HTTP response header. Um, Surprised we don't have to grab that. Oh, we do. We need the HTTP module as well. So, um, so this is what we're going to ask for in the at, at header level. We want these types. Um, we also need to tell um, our test project module. I'm going to be talking about modules later. That we want to use the HTTP module. So we're going to add it to the list of modules that we're dependent on, so that we correctly link against um, the HTTP module. And now we have uh, access to the HTTP functions. Uh, so to do a request, I'm just trying to think of like, where can we make a request to, um, uh, HTTP request ref request equals HTTP create request. Uh, let's set up, let's just do like, let's just point it at Google. They won't mind if I just hit their API or hit their front end. Uh, we're going to make a, um, get request, um, request set header. So you can set, you know, headers, um, user agent X unreal engine agent. You can use whatever you want. Um, if you were doing a post request, you can also do like use, uh, set content as string. Um, you can basically just kind of explore this API to see how you can set up a request if you want. Uh, request on process request completes. So this is when when we're finished. We're going to bind to uh, bind this uh, um, delegate to ourselves, and we say, okay, we want to be able to handle this uh, response. So we're going to go response uh, and request process request, uh, and so that's going to send off this. Uh, request to fetch uh, Google. Uh, and now we need to create our handle response uh, function. That's the wrong header file over here. Uh, okay, we can get rid of this one. We don't need that anymore. Oh, that's the... Uh, So we want to go handle response. Uh, we take in the HTTP request pointer. So this is the original request that we sent. Uh, we are going to also have the uh, HTTP response pointer, HTTP response, uh, and a bool as to whether or not uh, it succeeded. Uh, we need to move these up into here so we can reference these types in the header so we can set it up for this um well it needs an f in front of it as well uh so that we can uh, access the types necessary for this function declaration uh let's go in here we'll make our little response handler uh like this do, 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 do. and we don't need a return parameter here we are just going to go and get 
with a HTTP response. Now, uh, we probably want to check if the HTTP response is valid because this is a pointer, which you can kind of clue into here. And if we actually click through on this type, we can see that this is actually a T-shared pointer of the HTTP response. So we do need to check that it's valid uh, before we try and access anything on it. If it's not valid, well, we'll just, you know, do something like that. You'll probably do more something more sensible if you were actually implementing this. Get status, uh, status code. Surely there is a status code on here somewhere. Go get response code. But it is. Uh, and then we can do HTTP response, get content as a string. And why is this having lovely fun times? Um, please work. What's it complaining about here? Mm -mm. You'll notice that we are basically doing a full build at this point because um, uh, we changed the uh, build parameters when we modified the, the build CS file. Uh, so what's, what's it actually saying? This can only reference... It. Ah, ah, of course, because this is a static function uh, and I need to actually kind of undo a bunch of stuff because I deleted code that I wasn't supposed to delete. <coughs> um, I put that in the wrong uh, wrong function. So let me undo this. All right, I need to keep I need to keep this code here. Right, cool. Uh, this is a factory function that needs to create the node and then activate is where we need to actually do our request. Start. <coughs> cool. Now, if we go and uh, do it. We are going to be making a nice little HTTP request from uh, Blueprints. We stick it in our Latin Blueprint node. I'm going to print this out and we're going to see the uh, Google homepage HTML printed out in um, the logs. Hopefully, if I've done this right. How are we doing for time? I've got nine, nine minutes left on this, this stuff. Uh, right, uh, I think if we just run this, it should just go. Yay, look, see, Google homepage, fantastic. So um, yeah, so that's uh, like a quick overview of like the HTTP APIs uh, and how you can you know do your request, your response and handle uh, the output. Again, you know, you can explore with IntelliSense the various uh, APIs that are on there. Uh, might do a little bit of... <laughs> you don't have to understand all that text. It's all the HTML that you get out of uh, Google. Obviously, in, in a real scenario, you'd be hitting some sort of... Excuse me. You'd be hitting some sort of, like, JSON API. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you sort of, like, what you would do if it was JSON. Um, like if you wanted to actually say, da, 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 da. You know, you'd normally say, no, I want to say I accept JSON, sorry. Um, and you can imagine, yeah, imagine this is actually a real API. Um, we won't run this code because it's not actually going to work, but um, where is it? I need the JSON. Ah, JSON. So we get our uh, JSON. Who is JSON? Uh, so if you don't know what JSON is, uh, I, I'm not sure if the, if, the, if the question was a joke, but JSON is uh, a format for serializing. Um, like it's typically used for the API responses um, from like web APIs. Um, so let's say that this was going to give us back a like a JSON object. So um, an example of what a JSON object might look like from an API is like, you know, hello, 10 world. 20, oops, and, you know, they can be arbitrary complexity. Um, uh, just object. Now we need to include some headers so we can do this stuff. Uh, we need the, um, we need the uh, JSON reader, JSON serializer, 
and the JSON object headers. I believe these are all provided by the JSON module. So we need to add a reference to the JSON module in order to use this, these APIs. Um, and we can go down here. Da, 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 da. Cool. Uh, so we've got a place, which is a T shared pointer at the moment, which is going to be null. Um, it's where we're going to store um, the deserialized JSON object that we're getting. Um, we are going to create a JSON reader. Um, JSON reader factory create JSON. And this is like your, if you've ever used um, JSON.NET in C sharp, um, this is kind of like, well, this, this pattern here is kind of like your JSON convert dot deserialize uh, object. Oh uh, yeah. Someone in chat mentions there's a, there's a JSON plugin. Um, uh, oh wait, there's a JSON plugin in the engine now for like exposing all of the blueprint. That's fantastic. Um, I did not know that was a thing. Um, I know there was a plugin on the marketplace for a while. Um, but uh, yeah, so we got to just do a bit of uh, deserialize it, uh, reader, JSON object. This is basically, <coughs> oops. And uh, you know, this would be like your code path of like, oh, you couldn't deserialize the response, right? Uh, you need to do something sensible. Uh, otherwise we can sort of be like, okay, cool. We want to get, you know, get the integer field for um, hello, and uh, this would, uh, I think that's just going to give us back an int32. Uh, and so in this code, A would then have 10 in it, basically. Um, and yeah, that's like a quick overview of like the JSON APIs. Um, again, I just really wanted to cover these because they, if you're doing any sort of integration with any like online systems, you're probably going to run into like, how do I make a, a web request? How do I make, how do I deserialize an API response? Um, so it seemed kind of, uh, useful to cover these off. Um, how are we doing for time? 56. Cool. Uh, uh, quickly some act iteration. Now, uh, I'm going to do this on the top of my head. Yeah, here we go. So for a bunch of iteration stuff, there are these iterators that, uh, Epic provides. So if we wanted to iterate through um, all of the player controllers in the world, we could use um, this const player controller iterator. Um, if we get to the world, get world, get player controller iterator. Uh, and then, you know, I think if we do iterator, ah, uh, yeah, so this is the, the iterator object, but if we do this is going to be returning a player controller and we dereference it. I think dereferencer is overloaded. No, let's do get, uh, and then you can access the player controller, um, off there. Um, I'm pretty sure there's one for actor iteration as well. Yeah. T actor iterator. So, uh, if you want to iterate through actors, you'd be like, okay, cool. Let me iterate through all actors of, I don't know, a game mode base. That's a thing we've got. Uh, well, it would be, I'm not going to include the header because it's just an example, but, uh, um, I think I will. That's what it wants. What was I looking at? Oh, it just wants this. Um, uh, oh, it does want that. Okay. Actor. I think it, want it, it wants a class parameter here. Uh, is that going to make it happy? No. What does it want? Um, T subclass of actor class. Well, that looks very complete to me. Even this should work, right? Oh, it's because we haven't included the, we haven't included the header for actor iterator, which is sitting, uh, so IntelliSense will sometimes autocomplete stuff for you that you don't actually have included, uh, the headers for. So we can like click on this and be like, oh, cool. Where's T actor iterator? It's in engine utils. I can see the path there. 
and then I'd be like, okay, I need to include uh, engine utils. So H, uh, yeah, that should that should do it. Um, and now we should be able to compile. All right, excellent. And that will just iterate through all the actors in the world. If you want to be more specific, um, you could iterate through all of like, you know, a game mode base or whatever and so on and so forth. Um, and that is going to wrap up that session uh, for basically just a random grab bag of utilities that I thought people might find useful. Um, yeah, do we have any questions in the chat that haven't been covered off already? Is it possible to do actor iteration async? Uh, oh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. I mean, like, so my first thought is like, if you put the actor iterator, like if you made this a field of, uh, or is it our, of our blueprint node, right? Like if you did like <laughs> my iterator and you like initialized it here and then you try to do iterate like it in batches, like, uh, if you had a, Hang on, let me get rid of that. Like if you had a ticker that ticked every frame and then you were like, cool, I'm going to iterate through a hundred actors a frame. That would be my first go-to, but I suspect that it might not work if, um, you're, if you're changing what actors are in the world. Like I suspect this works fine because it's in a single frame. You're not destroying any actors or you're creating any actor, actors. Well, that act creation and destruction doesn't happen instantly, but I can see a problem where like if you're, um, <laughs> iterating for the actors and the actors are changing, um, it will, it, it might have a problem with that. Uh, question is how much of this workshop is valid for 427? I would expect, uh, all of it. Um, I don't think there's any 5.0 specific stuff in here. All the stuff I, uh, um, all the stuff I've covered is it should be 427, um, and above. Uh, yeah, cool.